Hey guys, um, welcome. Today I'm going to show you a really cool project. Um, I love using my rubber stamps. I have a video on how to make your own rubber stamps. And I also have a video on how you can transform, you know, old craft paper, if this looks familiar, into your original paper. This is um, some craft paper that I had. It's got some little inspirational beach words. And I used my fern stamp, my custom stamp, to make this paper. Uh, I made a piece of paper that had a little, like, yogi stamp on it. And I am creating this little, tiny little project today. It's a gift for a friend. And um, what this is, is, okay, I'll tell, show you. I bought these little pads at um, uh, Walmart. And they're little uh, Mindology kind of sample. You can use them for samples, journals. And I like to use these because I do like my paint swatches on them. And I'll create um, different color palettes and put them on here so that I can see which colors go together when I'm doing like a painting project. And a friend of mine does uh, a lot of journaling. So I've decided she's not really, you know, a pink person. I'm going to take the colored ones out and I'm going to make a little cover for this. So let's just snap this together. And because we're, we're going to redo the cover for this. It's a simple little project. So here's the one that I already made. And we're going to be making this. So I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see what we're doing and what kind of projects that or materials that we need. So first thing we need is our... Mindology little sample pad. You're just going to use one of the covers. I'm going to use, I'll just use the pink one, doesn't matter if there's a little pink underneath. And uh, I don't have paper that I made with my Buddha stamp on it because I used it already. So I'm just going to get a piece of scrap paper here. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to flip it over. This is so simple, you guys. We're going to add some glue onto... Whoops! Lost you there. We're going to add some glue onto uh, one of the pieces of paper that they gave you in the um, sample pack. Just get some glue on there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, place it on your craft paper. So that's going to be your new cover. I guess you've got to make sure it's lined up. I'm trying to line it up here. Okay. Make sure you've got glue. It's all glued down. The simplest, quickest tutorial. Okay, and I'm just gonna trim it here. If you don't have a trimmer, you can just use scissors. I love my trimmer, I use it all the time. I'm just going to trim this side a tiny bit because there's a little bit of pink showing through that I don't want it to show through. All right. So we've resurfaced it. Get your hole punch out. Punch a hole. Get your stamp. Some ink. And get my little Buddha head on here. Let's turn it this way so you guys can see. Okay, leave a little bit of room at the bottom because I'm going to put some washi tape there. Okay, got my Buddha head. Uh, doo -doo. Got some washi tape. 
of a strip off. I always like to add, I mean, some of the washi tape that I have is pretty sticky. This one's not that sticky, so I'm just going to add a little bit of extra glue. We're going to put it down at the bottom. Flip it over. Trim it off. If you don't want the bright colored paper showing in the back, you can just use one of the simple white ones. I like to just keep a little, little pop of color. As my girlfriend says, 10% of color all the time in any thing that you do. So my 10% is not showing, which is okay, but it's still in my project. So, and then I just slip the cover back on so it looks like it was a purchased product, which it was, but I just added my little touch. And then I've got two little packs on these little D-rings of these sample journals that I can give as a gift. And whoever receives it can do what they want and get creative. So there you go. I hope you like this simple little stamp um, journal idea. And uh, if you want to show me the projects that you've done using this little technique, you can go over and post it on my Facebook group called Collaborating Through Art. If you're not a member, join. I will um, approve you as it is a closed group and then you can share your art projects with me. Thanks for watching.